Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. Big hello to all my subscribers and thank you to those of you that have just subscribed. But if you haven't, why not think about doing it now? Many of you have been asking me whether it's easy to retreat cases that have been sealed with bioceramic sealer. And so in this video presentation, I'm going to be looking at the retreatment of a mandibular molar in which a bioceramic sealer was used to obturate the root canals. We have to remember that most cases that fail have got some kind of technical deficiency or there's been microbial leakage, which leads to the cement being broken up. It's very unusual to have to retreat something that is technically perfect. I hope you enjoy it. So here we have the preoperative radiograph of the mandibular left second molar. The tooth has been obturated using bioceramic sealer and gutta perca points. We have to remember that most of the cases we end up retreating have either failed because of inadequate disinfection during the preparation sequence or because of voids in the coronal restoration or root filling material that's allowed micro leakage. In this case, I exposed a small volume CBCT and it showed a missed mesiolingual canal. There are also voids in the existing root filling material. This would obviously make root canal retreatment simpler. Looking under the microscope, you can see that I've removed the temporary restoration and you can now see the gutta perca point surrounded by bioceramic sealer. The gutta perca points are removed first and a glide path created. When the canals are tapered, most of the bioceramic sealer will be removed. Here I'm using a Gates Glidden number two to remove the gutta perca. After irrigating with 3% sodium hypochlorite, I'm using my DG16 endodontic probe to remove fragments of GP from the orifices of the root canals. Here I'm using a ProTaper SX instrument to flare the coronal part of the root canal as I start to make a glide path down to the full working length. An electronic apex locator is used to estimate the working length. Sometimes a little bit of solvent can be useful. I have removed most of the gutta perca and bioceramic sealer from the MB canal and now it's time to hunt for the unprepared orifice of the ML canal. In this case, I'm using a micro opener. After confirming the working lengths again with an electronic apex locator, the canals were rapidly tapered using Wave 1 Gold instruments.
In order to break up and remove any remaining bioceramic sealer, I used an IRISAFE ultrasonic tip during the irrigation phase. I carried out my primary cone fitting with irrigant in the root canals and exposed a cone fit radiograph with the RIN holder. This showed good length in all the canals. The irrigation sequence was completed with 17% EDTA and 3% sodium hypochlorite you can see convergence in the mesial canals. After drying all the root canals with sterile paper points, I mixed the Byroot RCS according to the manufacturer's instructions and then injected it into all the root canals. Into this, the primary cones were then inserted very slowly. The cones are seared off at the level of the pulp floor and then plugged with the cold Mac 2 plugger. I used heated Obtura GP to create a cork at the orifice of the root canal.
excess sealer can easily be removed with a 3-in-1 tip. The access cavity was simply filled in this case with a dual cure composite using a full etch and dual cure bonding agent. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph and now the postoperative result with a good coronal apical seal. The first review will be in six months. Well, thank you for watching to the end. I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned to the channel because there are many more interesting cases in the pipeline. But above all, enjoy your endo.